Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can create a modal screen and how to make it look decent. It's not going to look absolutely gorgeous because I'm terrible, but it's going to look decent. So what I have in front of me is a very basic app with a grid of placeholders, it does nothing. And now what I want to do is when I press M for modal, I want to pop a modal screen asking a random question. So the way I do that is by first going to textual.screen and importing mobile screen and then to create a mobile screen just like you create a regular screen you just subclass mobile screen so let's say that this is going to be my yes or no mobile screen which is just going to ask a yes or no question and then for now we do not nothing and let's say that we open the mobile screen so we open the mobile screen when the user presses M. So on a M key press, we do self.push screen. So by pushing a modal screen is how you make it show up on the screen. Sorry, the word screen just shows up very often. So there's a modal screen and to use it in your app, to make it show up in your app, you use the, the application method push screen just like you would with a regular screen. And there's videos and documentation on how to do this, on how to manage screens. So if I run my application, this is the grid of placeholders. If I press M, notice how the application got dimmer or it dimmed, the application is now dimmed. And it looks like when I press, when I click the placeholders, they no longer cycle between the the id and the text and the size and that's because the modal screen is opened although it doesn't it's not very clear because the modal screen hasn't has got no widgets yet so now i'll stop this now inside my modal screen what i'll do is i'll create the compose method and inside it i'll yield a couple of things so from the container let me take a regular container and a horizontal one and also from the widgets, let's take a label and a button. Button and label. Now, I'll put everything inside the container and then I'm going to yield a label that asks yes or no. And then I'll yield a horizontal inside which I'll, sorry, not yield, it's width, inside which I'll yield two buttons. So a green button for the yes option and a red button for the no option. So how does my application look like? What does it look like? If I press M, it looks like this. Now notice that I no longer get the dimmed background. Now everything is pitch black. And as a model screen, this isn't great. So I'll show you briefly some CSS styling that you can make. So I've connected my application to this file and I have the file here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll set, I'll go into the main container and I'll set its width to auto and its height to auto. Now at this point I've more or less memorized what I want to write, but I've created a video where I showed you the, the thought process and the experimentation process I went through to figure out exactly what I needed to change. So I'm going into the container and into the horizontal inside the container and I'm setting their widths and heights to auto. And when I save, you can see that the transparency, the transparency is back and the only reason it disappeared was because this container and this horizontal were too big. And now I can go into the yes or no screen and I can say align center middle and now this gets aligned in the middle. Excellent. And now I'll go into the container. I'll add some padding. Probably maybe change the background to something like this with a... Uh, do I like this? I don't know. I said I said this wouldn't be great. It's just decent. So then it will be up to you to make this actually look good. And what else? The the label may or you may or may not want to 
align the label in the very middle i like it there and now what i'll do also is uh no i'll go into the buttons and i'll add some margin okay excellent this looks much better uh does it i don't know zero one sure why not okay so this is one way to to put it i don't know the i think the most important thing was to show you how to center everything and to be mindful of the what do you call it the sizes of the container so that the transparency shows so this is how you create a modal screen you can now you could interact with the buttons and add event handlers to the mobile screen and whatnot and in a future video i'll show you how to work with the results from a mobile screen so how to make the mobile screen return results into your application but this is what i have for this video so i hope it was helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and if not i'll see you in the next one bye